What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Cultural Blasphemy, the show where you will be canceled by your friends and family after they've seen this episode. Today's episode is brought to you by Fanta. We got an incredible cast for you guys today. We got Brent Taylor, Denise Rodriguez, Dante Chang, and sitting in the hot seat starting off, we've got Sin. So the rules to today's game are gonna be a little bit different. We got four different categories for you. We've got Mexican food, we've got Asian cuisine, we've got soul food and general foodie culture. Your job while you're sitting in this hot seat is to figure out who of these panelists said such disrespectful things about another culture's food. All right, Sin, please choose your first category. Hmm. You know what? I like a good mystery. So I think I'm gonna go with general. Let's see what life has for us today. General foodie coach, out of everything up there, you wanna start off just yes. with the general one? I wanna surprise myself. Understood, all Let's right. Let's do it. I put peanut butter on turkey sandwiches. Hmm. As a man who's allergic to peanut butter, I have no stake in this claim at all. So I don't know anything about this, mm -hmm. but I'm very curious to see which of you three said it. Can we get two minutes on the clock, please? Okay. Sin? Go get him. Off top, I don't think Brent cares to be a lean meat eater. <laughs> you know? What makes you say that about Brent? A, a Brent, Brent, you know, Brent just be living his life. So, <laughs> I, think, I ain't lean. I, I'm I like think, lean gang. I'm like chic. Gangster lean. Chic? <laughs> you would describe your physique as chic? Chic gangster lean. It's like, it's like the southern side of France, you know? <laughs> Denise is giving me like turkey sandwiches, healthy peanut butter protein because I gotta hit it in at the gym. Okay. You know what I, I mean? It. That's like a, a like low on carbs, high on protein okay. type of thing. Okay. Dante. <laughs> <laughs> what about Dante? You can't freeze up when you see Dante. Look, look. I'm trying not to be blasphemous, but like Dante, you be eating turkey sandwiches? Maybe. Oh, oh, the mystery. Oh, what the mystery type of, what, 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 what else do you put on these turkey sandwiches? Lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, mustard. Like what that. else would you put on the turkey sandwich with this? Um, yeah, lettuce, tomatoes, just some veggies. Mm. Mm. What type of bread? Wheat. This is her sandwich video. <laughs> it has to be. It has Brent, to be. when is the last time you had a turkey sandwich? I mean, does, does a turkey burger count? Like, you Ooh. know what I'm saying? That don't, no, they don't see? count. It's two different categories. See? But why? You know, it's two different categories. A sandwich is a sandwich, oh, a burger is a burger. Cold cold cuts like that. No, I'll just, I mean, maybe. Ooh. So what else would you put, a, what, how else would you a make turkey a peanut melt. butter sandwich? A turkey melt, though. I'll a do that, though, melt. a turkey melt with the cheese. Does on. this sound good to you, though? Would that you eat this? That sounds disgusting. Are there different categories of peanut butter as someone who's never tasted it, is it like smooth and then like crunchy? Just the cr crunchy one? I like peanut butter. Dante's kind of quiet. Dante, 10 seconds, just talk, just in case it might be you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know who would do some, some like this. Why would oh, you even do this? That's making me think it's him. Wait. Time's up. Um, I'm gonna just go with my first instinct, even though Dante was looking a little sus at the end. I pick chic gangster lean. Low on carbs, high on protein. Maybe. Denise! <laughs> was it you, Denise? It wasn't me. It was me. <laughs> I'm not even sure how it happened. Okay. But it did. Was it a one-time experience thing? <laughs> Matt did like three times. Oh, oh you man. liked it. Man, you act like I... Uh, no, here's what, I, Dante, I have to picture <laughs> you in your house slicing like parts of a turkey off opening up a peanut butter jar and just scooping it out and that don't mix to me. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know what? Then I wash it down with this. Okay, all right, all right. The fancy it is. I knew it was fancy because it he was getting so quiet at the end. I was like, wait, no, it, yeah. no. And you liked it because you did it a couple of times then. Yeah, I did Are there times. tears okay. in your eyes as you eat this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you put the peanut butter on there first, and he was like, that don't feel like it's gonna fill me up. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happened. You know what, I think you're right. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I'm still gonna be hungry after this. <laughs> turkey, <laughs> turkey and, and peanut butter. Yo, that's <laughs> wild, you wild for that. I've right? done that before, you know, sometimes you gotta layer your food. Going into the next round, we've got Denise Rodriguez in the hot seat. Please choose our next category. Okay, can we do general? Is it? Okay, I think I'm gonna go with soul food. 
I put syrup on my black eyed peas. Oh, man. Okay. I put syrup on my black eyed peas. Okay. Can we get the timer, please? Two minutes on the clock. Denise, go get him. Okay. This is very Buddy the Elf. You guys watch that movie? <laughs> Did you watch that movie, Cynthia? No, I didn't. Did you watch that movie, Cynthia? No, I didn't. With Will, with Will Ferrell? Yes. I don't really no, but I don't remember that though. Do you eat syrup? He ate black peas. No, he ate like Hilarious. syrup with spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, Will Ferrell was like yeah, eating yeah. black eyed peas. What part of the movie was he eating black eyed peas? Yeah. Yeah. The entire time was in the elf movie. movie. The Where would Will Ferrell be eating black eyed peas? That would have been kind of lit. <laughs> no. Did he deliver the comment? The syrup. <laughs> um, do you eat syrup? I like syrup, but I, I only like it on my pancakes, and it has to be like the maple syrup. Mm. You know? Okay, so like, you have a lot a of specifics. I don't think this was. <laughs> Brent. Yes. Do you eat black eyed peas? Love black eyed peas. I do love black eyed peas. All year I think long. It was you. All year long. <laughs> he said all I don't year think long. This was you. I think Dante's still in the house. You gotta ask him a question about it. I just don't it. think it was Dante. Dante just sat up here and said he liked turkey and peanut butter. He can't <laughs> 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 anything today. Do you just eat black eyed peas too? I love black eyed peas and I love syrup. <laughs> I don't know what he do I really do. Uh, who doesn't syrup. like syrup? Who doesn't okay. like syrup? I think it was. But, hold on, before you before you do that, I have to add another question. Can I throw a question out there for yeah, you? Yeah, of course. Okay, do y'all heat your syrup up? Yup. I prefer it. I prefer yeah. it heated. You don't heat your syrup up? No. You don't make sure that it's actually warm before I you never, put it on pancakes? I'm not, I'm not down to try it, but dang, sorry, no. Okay. I've okay, never eaten my syrup. That's what it's to me. I guess I was, but the pancakes. Nobody's giving me that life hack, Cleo. <laughs> heat it up. I'm gonna Changes eat it your up. Life, I promise. I even like the Master P syrup. Uh, Master P is a syrup. Get it like syrup. syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Master P, we know you're gonna brand it. We want it. Yeah. There's a Captain Crunch syrup. All right, there's zero seconds okay. on the clock. You look Denise, excited. as you look at your panelists, oh, wait, who do you think said this blasphemy? You guys are just so conjuring this round. You're making it very hard for me. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go with. with. She, uh, nope, nope, nope. It nope. wasn't Brent. Oh. Oh, no she, way. She, 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 she. I did not think it was gonna be yes. you. Wow. Yes. Okay, Played what? It. They're really, it's really complimentary. First of all, it's kind of the same thing, <laughs> you know, with bananas and rice. It's just syrup and black eyed peas. I mean, yeah. we all out here in these streets. I got it, I got it, the, the little sweetness. Right. No, no, it's right. not the we same, it's not even close. Okay, huh? wait, you just literally have like a bowl of black eyed peas and you put syrup on it? And I put syrup on it, because my mom, when I was little, you know, we come from a family of five, so black eyed peas is, you know, easy to make and feed the family. Okay. So I would go in the cabinet and you know, oh, jazz them up with syrups, and so that's how I. Why syrup? Why not like a hot sauce or something? Why syrup? I mean, sometimes I do hot sauce now as an adult, but okay. when I was little, you know, this was my thing, so it's just what I do. Okay, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Was it like a breakfast thing? Or did like, you eat this at lunch, at no. dinner? <laughs> this is just snack or whatever. 8 p.m.? <laughs> what? Syrup and black eyed peas. No, this is just oh, yeah. two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You walk into the kitchen, Sin sitting there, bowl of black eyed peas and syrup. Talking about, hey baby. Hey baby. Hey baby. Uh, you not gonna make some room? It's two o'clock in the morning. You eat black eyed peas and syrup. Do you? I respect it. Yo. You know. This, I get judged for this all the time. Yes. And you know, thank you, Cultural Blasphemy, for letting me embrace this part of myself. <laughs> because oh my people really judge me for this. Oh I don't God. care. Tear me apart in the comments. I said what I said. Thank you. Denise, great job. Brent, you're the only one who has not sat in this hot seat yet. It is your turn, brother. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Brent, we've heard some wild stuff so far. Man. 
Whew. This has been a lot. And they all sounded like they came out of Dante Chang. Uh, I, I was in there like, Dante Chang, Dante Chang, Dante Chang. He's the he baddest dude on the planet. I know he got, like, wrote them down, like, too. I'm going to try these, too. Like, like, all right, let's figure out what category we're going into next. You know what? Let's just, let's just roll into it. Let's do Asian cuisine. Asian cuisine it is. I put mayo and egg sauce on ramen. All right. Yeah. That's Mayo? A, that sounds about right, bro. Mayonnaise and egg. Okay. You, you don't seem to like this at all. Because at first I read it, I, I think I read it, and it was like, okay, that damn like egg come on like the like the fried rice or something like yeah. that. And then I was like, no, ugh, <laughs> eggs, egg sauce? Brent, what part of the egg do you think makes the sauce? I don't know. <laughs> is it the is it the white part? Is it that the clear part? Is it the clear part? That's the that's the sauce. You like mayonnaise? Oh yeah. Mm, what you be putting mayonnaise on normally? You know sandwiches. Um, sandwiches. Okay. 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 Sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> Cynthia. What's up? <laughs> You, uh, what, what, you, you, like, so. you feel this egg sauce? You, you, be doing, feel, you get you feel down with egg sauce? How you feel it? I mean, I, I, I had egg sauce the other day. We, we, okay. When, when is the last time you had egg sauce? I, I never had egg sauce. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but I know you like ramen. I do like me some ramen. <laughs> okay, because okay. I know you're from New York. I know y'all like so that ramen that's what out there. Had. Okay, <laughs> Okay. y'all y'all crunching up ramen in y'all hands and just throw it on the ground or something. <laughs> y'all put it in microwaves? Y'all cold. Uh, <laughs> Dante, <laughs> wow, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't need all this time. Uh, <laughs> <so yeah. laughs> you are the father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. I'm pretty sure you put mayo, egg, egg sauce. I love uh, mayonnaise, I love egg sauce, I love ramen. Can I throw a question out there for you, Brent? Please, man. Uh, beef or chicken when it comes to ramen? Chicken. I like spicy. Mm. I don't really like meat in my ramen. Veggie? So you saying mm -hmm. veggie? Okay. Right. I like the chili. I like egg sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he the only one know what egg sauce is. He the only one know what egg sauce is. He the only one know what egg sauce is. Brent, uh, beef or chicken when it comes to ramen? Chicken. Uh, why is everyone on the chicken train? Are you beef? A hundred and ten percent. A hundred and ten percent. My whole life, but I don't what get does the it chicken. Taste like I said beef. Okay, yeah. when I used to eat beef, I used to because it's the strongest. It got you only strongest. have eight seconds left. You um sandwiches. I, I never had egg sauce. I like egg sauce. Dante! <laughs> no, well, that is just racist, and it was so easy. It's Asian, and you know, ah, you're wrong. Ah, you're wrong. wrong. Oh! Wow! wow. I didn't expect that. Oh. I said, I thought, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You thought it was me? I really did. You thought I was egg sauce? I was leaning it towards you. Wow. I thought you was egg sauce in it. Wow. Yeah, you sold it too. I'm not gonna wow. lie. Wow, okay. Okay, so sis. Please let us, what, what's egg sauce? Please, listen, TikTok has gotten me, you know, in trouble a few times and I saw them make, like there was this ramen like page and they just have all these recipes that you could do with like our like natural ramen. And she did a little bit of mayo, she cracked an egg, she put the seasoning that comes in the packet, mm -hmm. whisk, Whew. This is I like the way she was whisking like, oh, I'm cooking it up. What is egg sauce? Put egg, you just, just crack an egg. egg. Oh. Just an egg. When this drops, there will be at least 100,000 Asian people in front of your house. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hell. me, it's the TikTok. I was just it's following the TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Cultural Blasphemy. Big thank you to Fanta for sponsoring today's episode. I know you guys heard a lot of stuff that's gonna make you angry in the comments, so please, just at individuals on social media, don't come at us. I had nothing to do with this, I promise. We'll see you guys on the next episode, peace. Santa, I gotta ask you, how's that Fanta taste? You know what? It's tasting delicious. Pineapple is my favorite flavor. I feel mm. like I'm gonna take it on a picnic and pair it with a nice turkey mm. peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> mm. You're gonna you try know? it? I'm gonna try it. Oh. I'm gonna try it. You know, wash it down with my ice cold Fanta.